Hello, I've made a lot of posts to my WordPress site. I didn't have a list of all these posts and their names and links. Uh, so I decided to get all of them and I felt the problem that it is not so easy. Just get all your posts from WordPress site because WordPress doesn't currently give all your post lists by default. So I've managed to, to use import XML formula and here is the result that I shared with you and you'll see the link below the video of this sample sheet and let me tell some words how I did it so you could repeat, repeat uh, all the process. So first I opened my website Yep, and uh, I also will know that I have 20 posts per page and I have this button order posts here I'll get back to this later, this older posts. So first I wanted to get all these posts. When I open this in the browser, I get a list of all my posts, 20 posts and next 20 posts and so forth. So first click right button, click and go to inspect element. And let's see. When you inspect this element, you see element has a link called href, href, and it also has some other elements that I wanted to see, and my blog posts are all in this div area, and I just selected it and saw what I got. I got all my elements main. All my elements and I click right click this in this Chrome inspector I use Google Chrome for this but you may also use another browser if you like I need to get XML element let's see copy copy full XPS and so I will make a new sheet in my file and paste Full express here. This is full express. And let's create a simple import XML. I also need my WordPress site for this. I'll copy this and paste it here. And go ahead and make my import XML formula. It has two parameters URL and express. Express is just what we've copied so far. And URL is my site. Express is A2. A2. I will hit enter or tap and see what it's doing. It's doing nothing. And I face this problem in doing really nothing. And you need to change something in your Express, of course, to see something else. Deleting elements or changing elements. And now, Voila, you see your posts, but uh, all, all these posts are placed in this ugly long line. Okay, it's not a problem for us. Let's transpose this data, transpose, and see what we got. Transpose, close parentheses, and now I have long single ugly column with all my posts data. But by the way, I don't have uh, URLs of my posts. I only have posts, some info, number of comments maybe. Yes, when I entered and no comments here. Some of my posts have comments so far. You'll see this later. Okay, let's get back to my uh, data scrapper. I didn't show you it. This is the sheet when I made all these steps, so you can just repeat the steps for you. This is my div that I found. Yes, it's the same. Next, this is the formula that transposes it, and it's ugly formula. It creates some dashes. I'll tell, tell about it later. Yes. Next, I got this find formula to convert my this single column to multiple columns and this looks like what I wanted to get. I'll just copy it, and it 
this car formula really is big but uh, you, you don't need to understand all of it you may just copy this formula and use it I've, I've done another post on uh, converting column to multiple columns and that's it the formula is in column E E6 I copy it to the same place here E6 control V and here it is I get all my posts oh not not all my posts just first 20 entries and here I fa faced another problem first I got only 20 posts and uh, second is not so big problem I got this uh, trash in, in the end when I can when I do this work I got other posts nav links and so forth let's let's first get my next 20 posts go back to my website my beautiful website that's great great site you may see much tricks here other posts and the page changes to page one okay I may use it I re-enter to page one and nothing changes let's change it to page two here page two oh now I have another 20 posts and post about jobs and next 20 posts and that's it uh, that's the way you go and you can create uh, one separate sheet for each of your tabs and then join them together but I've done all this job here I've done it here I've just added extra dashes this all was made to make this formula work and I added all my links here page one next page two page three page four page five I have only five pages because I got less than 100 posts so far by the way all these uh, formulas are not very reliable they may crash in some time so I suggest you to just create this formulas once formula I call this sheet formula sample I, I suggest you just create it once and next next time new posts get new posts with some other way yes don't, don't rely on these formulas because some something may change on your website and uh, XML may change and you may create another style on, on your pages or you may add another number of pages per one page uh, sorry posts per, per one page in my case this is 20 posts per page but you you may have 10 or some other number and this all may crash your formulas so this this is get is good this is a good uh, way to get your posts for one time only. Next, I got all my posts and um, I got all my posts in one big ugly formula. And I also added this curly brackets with uh, some dummy slashes. And next, all this wa was done just to make this formula work fine. And it works fine for all my posts now convert them to one big table next some more XML scrapping to get my post URLs you see class entry entry title and I got only this href here and I got all my posts the formula is also big because it uses all these five links to all my pages but the single formula gives me one list one column list of all my links to my pages and it's just fine you will see this XML code when you copy my file 
and I also used transpose because the result is one line and I need one column for my convenience. It just doesn't matter really. And next, filter plus regex to get some useful data. This column is just links and this formula is the filter with regex to get my date and they get comments. Let's go back and see. Import XML get comments and date and who was the author of the post. It's always me for my case, so I didn't return this value. Let's see when there are some comments. In this line, we have two column comments. Okay, let's see how it looked like. It looked like this. Two comments here. Yes. And I wanted to get justice number two. I used regular expression here. Regex of slash d plus. It's all got the numbers and then the name comment or comments. I don't really know how they write it. And also I got date with similar regex. It's got date. Some words in one or two digits and then four digits for year. And this is my dates. And by the way, these dates are in text format. If you need to convert this into actual uh, spreadsheet date, you need to add more manipulations with your data. And next, the result is just the link to my data scraper 05 through R. And I used these curly brackets for array. And that's it, I got my result and I've shared this result with you. Thank you for watching and happy coding. See you 